in the criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. This is the first winter blizzard storm of 2022. And uh, what is this? Uh, end of January. Today is January 29th. The snow started coming down last night. Somewhere around like midnight, it, it actually really started sticking. And then all this morning, it continued to snow. And somewhere around 3 o'clock, I decided to get up out my bed and come out here so I could go to my mom's house to help her shovel her snow. So it, as you can see, it looks like they had some of the spreaders come through putting down like dirt or salt, but I don't think they've been through here in a while. So um, as you can see, I'm maintaining a slow speed. I'm at 42. The cold air has dropped the air pressure on my tire to 26. But uh, for the most part, um, it isn't, as far as I know, if there is a hole, it's a slow leak, so I'll probably have to take it in. But it's a really slow leak, and when you put air in it, it holds. So I'm going to have to go by a tire shop a little bit later. But right now, it's drivable. I'm not feeling any vibration or anything, so it's okay. But um, I'm going to inflate the tire pressure as soon as I get a chance to get to the uh, tire inflator. But um, this is what it looks like. This is This is the reason why rear-wheel drive sports cars where I live don't make any sense. Now, if you live in Texas or if you live in like Nevada or some shit where it's always dry and you don't get sudden snow and sudden water and sudden ice, whoa, shit, I'm pushing the brake and it's like, not, the, the brake is f pushing back. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know what? I'm gonna stay right in the middle. Hopefully the stupid motherfucker behind me slows the fuck down. So that I don't, yeah, you stupid Toyota piece of shit truck, get the fuck back. Slow the fuck down, you stupid motherfucker. You stupid motherfuckers with the stupid Toyotas. Always getting in accidents, you dumb motherfucker. So anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm going to maintain minimal safe distance from the next car and hope that there's nobody out here stupid enough to do anything stupid in the snow. And then, you know, because right now this, this ice... It's just a little bit too much. There's a lot of ice. A lot of ice. And this fucking Toyota won't get off my back. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ice back there. A lot of ice. And he, just look at the house close to smart. You know what? I think I should slow down just to force this stupid fuck to go around me. Because he knows the situation. But this dumb motherfucker is riding as close to me as possible where he might not be able to stop if I panic stop. And if he hits this car, I'm going to get out there and fuck him up. Stupid assholes. Just doesn't make sense. It's just slow the fuck down. So anyway, uh, where were we? The uh, stock market is, you know, suffering a little bit. But um, you know, I bought in when <laughs> the, the stocks were at their lows. So even though you lose a little bit of money, it's no big deal. It's like normally you see it kind of regain. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not even worried about the Dow. I've made that video a hundred times. The Dow is going to be just fine. I'm not even worried about it. So, um, the crypto market, however, is in shambles. These poor people are still trying to buy that dip and they don't seem to understand. It's like, listen, guys, it's like that, that market ain't coming back no time soon. That market is down for the count and it might not ever come back without the government printing welfare checks, you know, to give to children to spend on Robin Hood, whose stock, by the way, is at its lowest it's ever been. I think it's like $12 right now. It's like, uh, you people were gambling, y'all tried gambling, and now you found out the hard way. Gambling don't work that easy. Look at this guy. All right, fine. You want to you wanna stay over there with the ice? No problem. I'm going to try to stay right in the middle where there's a little bit less slipperiness because on these sides, you can see that shit is nothing but ice. So I ain't going to ride the sides. I'm going to stay right in the middle and maintain minimal safe distance between me and the next car. I haven't seen any accidents yet, but I'm pretty sure there's got to be some out here. So, we'll see. We 
got some strong winds here, strong cross winds. Winter, it's too bad we couldn't have gotten this snow during Christmas when I could have appreciated it. Okay, finally, the Toyota decided that after I've been driving this slow for this long, the fucking dumbass is going to go around me now. Good for him. So, yeah, you go around. You go around with your big, ugly Toyota truck. Yeah, you, you, if you're in a rush, you go somewhere. I'm not in a rush. Thank you. I pardon you. And this guy is over here with all that ice. See, there's a reason why nobody's in that lane, bro. It's because it's nothing but ice. <laughs> it's like all you got to do is slip up and you're going to hit. You're going to go right to one of them trees. I've seen that happen before. You do not want to be on that ice. You just don't want it. It's like it's just better just take it slow, take it easy. I gotta get more windshield wiper fluid too. I, I I used up all my damn windshield wiper fluid. So I gotta get more windshield wiper fluid. <sighs> yeah, yeah. When I stop at the uh, air pressure uh, filler or whatever it is, it's like I'll get more windshield washer fluid at the same time. As you can see, I'm driving in snow mode. Snow mode makes it so that the car is easy on the throttle. So that this way, uh, you know, you're not running and ripping. And so I use uh, snow mode to keep myself in a decent gear where I don't have to worry about slipping and sliding. Look at this guy. Whoa, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. 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 Hey, guy, maybe if you drive in the middle of the road, maybe it'll be a little bit faster. I don't know why you would... Never mind. Some of these dumbass drivers. These, some, some of these people are new drivers out here. Because of COVID, they decided to go out and buy a car because they got tired of public transportation. Some of these people just aren't experienced enough to understand the risks and the threats facing them. They're just not. Some of, the, some of these people genuinely are noobs. You know? It's like, I'm not going over there. I could go around this guy. I'm not doing it because there's too much ice over there for a curve. You see that turn? Not doing it. Not doing it. This guy has a Jeep. No, Durango. And this guy seems like he wants to pass everybody. So, okay, fine. Cool. Got the Durango right there. All right. RT. All right. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that. Just stay away from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where, where are the salt spreaders? Those those big trucks, man, they should be out of here. What, what are they doing? Where are they? Where are those guys? Yeah, it, it's, it's a mess out here, man. You get killed out here. This is absolutely not what I wanted for my Saturday. Now, if this shit had come in the middle of the week, I could have appreciated it, but this is not what I wanted for Saturday. You just want to be able to relax on Saturday and not have to do anything, you know? Even Sunday, I, I wouldn't have minded this on Sunday, you know, because if it was on Sunday, you know, you just go outside, you shovel, and then that's it, and then you go back inside and enjoy the warmth. My next car has to be electric vehicle. It has to be capable of driving itself in in um, like straight traffic. The, the Cadillac CT6 was actually pretty good for that with their Super Cruise. And I like the fact that unlike these new cars, you don't have to keep your hands on the wheel. And then the other thing is it has to have all wheel drive because I expect to be able to drive in any condition. So it has to be all wheel drive, it has to be able to drive itself, and it has to be electric, so I can charge it at my house. Now, I saw the new Jeep 4xe that they have the Jeep. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I saw the new Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xe and it has an electric mile range of only like 25 miles. In my opinion, 25 miles isn't worth the plug-in ability. If that was the case, you'd have to sell me at least 100 miles of electric range to say, yeah, that's what I'd buy. But I, I couldn't see buying the new Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xe. The Wrangler, to some extent, makes more sense because that one will average like 58 miles to a gallon. But... Um, the Jeep Grand Cherokee 4x... Uh-oh, whoa, 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 those people. Look at this guy. Look at this goddamn Sentra slowing down traffic because you decided that you could get through, but you got no ground clearance. So you should have bought a Rogue. You should have bought a Nissan Rogue. Cheating girlfriend mobiles. He's got this old Honda. Old Honda. Goodness. See the thing that skip whoa shit. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just let the snow drag. Dra oh shit. No, I don't want to be over here. I wanna be in the middle. I don't wanna be in the middle. I gotta get I gotta get past the stupid Acura. I got I can't let this Porsche slow me. Well, no, in fact, I'll let the Porsche go. I don't want to get in front of this dumbass Acura. Come on, old Porsche. Come on. Get the hell out of the way, you old Porsche. Get the hell out of the way. 2007 ass KN. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look how close these guys are to each other. He's drifting on. Look at this. Old ass Porsche. Look at this dirt. What is this? What is this shit? Yeah, I gotta stop by that gas station. Gonna get me some uh, windshield fluid. See, I want to get around this guy because this guy doesn't seem to be paying attention to those lines. But you know what? Now I just noticed something. I just crossed into Queens, and the Queens side, New York City, they have salted a little bit more, it looks like, because the road looks a little clearer here. Right here, the road looks wet. Like over there, they. Like, they got to get over there, but um, this actually looks a little bit clearer. See, because once you're inside the city, they run those trucks constantly because they have more money. Like, Long Island, they act like they don't have to, like, they act like you're on your own. Sanitation's better in the city, too. It's more regular. Man, 75 days from now, I'm gonna be in Maldives, be in 86 degree weather, drinking with the ladies in the warmth, not here in freezing. 75 days. So far, so good. It doesn't look like there was too many accidents. There's probably a lot of people stuck. Thank God it's a Saturday. Had this been a weekday, it probably would have been a different story. And I feel bad for anybody who doesn't have a 4x4 right now, boy. That's why, with this truck especially, I plan on keeping this truck. It's already paid off, but I plan on keeping this truck for as long as I can. As long as it's not too expensive to, hopefully the parts, that if I need parts, hopefully they'll be easy to get. But as long as it's not too expensive, it's like I'll keep it indefinitely because I can't, right now, I don't see anything else I want. There's not, besides getting an electric car, I really don't see any SUVs that I'd want. I really don't see anything else. 
nothing that's worth the money, especially with all these crazy ass markups. Right now, it feels like a great time for some 7-Eleven cappuccino. I love 7-Eleven cappuccino. Oh. You see, lady? This is what you get with equality. You should have had a man out there shoveling that snow. See, that's the sad thing about all these women, these single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Oh, uh oh, 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 oh. Now they get to find out what equality really means when you got to get out there and shovel your goddamn car out. This right here is when the ladies find out what equality really means. And believe me, when they get that taste of equality, they don't want it. Because when you're, when you're a man, a real man has to get up and shovel that snow. A real man has to drive to his mama's house. A real man has to drive one of these motherfucking bobcats and get that snow up. That's a real man, tough guy. That's a tough guy job right there. These ladies don't want none of that. They don't want to have to do none of that shit. They want to work in a nice, safe office building where they can do their press-on nails and look cute and pretty. But that's kind of what they're supposed to do. They're not supposed to have to be out here. This is man work. That's the reason why men die early is because we have all the difficult, dirty, and dangerous jobs. Yep. But I'll tell you. I see these ladies out there shoveling snow. Usually I go out and ask them, well, where's your husband? Why can't he do it? I'd have his ass out here. Oh, but I'm not married. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Hey, what's that? Caribbean products. Rockaway Boulevard, New York City. Look at these trucks. Look at these trucks. They're all stuck in there, just stuck in the snow. I think they could get out of that, though. That guy, he's stuck. Yeah, they're trying to dig out. Somebody must have decided to try to drive. Yeah, he's trying to dig out. He can't get out of there. That tire's just spinning. What was that a Toyota Corolla? Yep. All this ice. Gotta have that four-wheel drive. Uh oh, 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 no brakes. Oh, wow, it's just sliding. <laughs> oh man, that's fun. <laughs> Wee. Wow, look at this ice. Look at this. Just turn on. Well, it's ice. It's not good. You be the ones like you got. You no, you ain't got what I got. <laughs> yeah. No, he he can try all he wants, but Biden don't control my Second Amendment. No one does. Biden ain't doing nada. He he can cry all he want. So we are here. Oh, this one. Oh shit. Yo, this one could park itself and, and take itself out of park. This one can drive forward and backwards by itself. Yeah, wait, let me let me see if the, uh, they probably turned that shit off, but let me let me see if I could do that. But they, somebody's gonna scream. No, no, no. They're gonna yell at me if I do that shit. They're gonna be like <laughs> Yes. If they gotta stay here and work this out, can you bring her back and I'll pay you gas money and stuff? I gotta go all the way back to freaking Queens. Please, man, I need you. Cause I gotta yeah, 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 I know. You gotta get to work. That place you should have been when I was looking for you. Yeah. Oh, this one got heated, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Damn, just, yeah, this one's nice and loaded, too, but yeah. they, this is 38,000. Yeah, this shit is 30. No, 38's not bad for a fully loaded car. This is a 2022 Tucson. And then they got the electric, they got the one, the electric one over there. I want to check out the electric one. But it is, this is smaller than the Genesis. This is, this is smaller than the bigger ones, but this is a nice interior. Once I do, once I do my three years, I'm going to try to get a Genesis. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is, oh shit, they got buttons on the door and shit. That's, oh, that's nice. Oh, snap. They, but I gotta say, Hyundai really does a good job with their designs. Yeah, they definitely Cause, do. Because everybody else, they, they're making everybody just else. Touch. Huh? Touch. Yeah, yeah, you just push the buttons. So it's just push button. And all this, you got the heated, cooled seats and everything. Let me see, let me see. So you can, I, can, I can heat your ass, mm -hmm. or I can cool your ass. 
about that. My car has that too. And heated steering wheel and all that. Oh shit, I wanna cool my ass. There we go, let's cool my oh, ass. Oh, you can cool it too? You can cool your ass. Holy you can shit. heat your ass, but you can cool your ass. Everything <laughs> is touchscreen. Everything is pretty much touchscreen. It's kind of like your uh, Elantra. This is nice. Yeah, oh yeah, I can feel it already. You can't feel it because you got the jacket on. Yeah, look, I can feel it. It's cool. But this is this is definitely the kind, the size of car that she probably wants because that Jeep that she had is smaller than this. You know, this is only a little bit bigger. Oh, oh that's you already yeah, this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low fuel. Hey, good morning. Up. No. All right. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I have oh, to come out here long and bring my car to get service. Down. So I'm about to, they about to finish with it. So I should be back in like in 45 to an hour. Yo, they, this is nice. Yeah, I come, if, if you can't make it back today, I, yeah, I could do that. I definitely do that. So if you're asking why right, we're here, okay. we are considering buying a Hyundai SUV. That's why we're here. Is Scotty? No, I turn. I haven't put my foot on the gas. It's oh. off. I because if I turn this shit on, they're gonna start yelling. Yeah. They're like, "Hey, excuse me, excuse me, keep that thing off, please. You're gonna you choke kill, us. Yeah, kill everybody. We ain't gonna kill everybody. It would take like an hour or something to run you this car to, long should, enough. If you got the thing where you put your feet on it and the trunk open, then it's work. I think you know you gotta wave your foot, and I it might have that. I don't know. I don't know if this one has it. It might. Let me see how you turn this piece of shit off. But this is, they got everything. This, see, it's crazy. You pay all that money for a Mercedes, and Hyundai is giving you the same motherfucking screens. It's just, it just doesn't look like a Mercedes. That's all it is, huh? Huh? I know the Genesis has that feature, but maybe, I don't know if this has that feature. Some cars have it, some cars don't. But it might, it probably, it might not have it. Because I know the Genesis is usually held. Yeah, but this is a really good sized SUV. You know, like, like this, this like, but th this is about the same size everybody's buying in general when it comes yeah. to an SUV. This Tucson is a right about the right size, you know. And what's this? This over here is probably an old Tucson. No, this is Santa Fe. The Santa Fe is bigger. Yeah, I like, I like so, and they want thirty-four. Okay, so this is less expensive, but yeah, this is a slightly less expensive thirty-four. But it's got heated seats, no cooled seats. This one only got the heated seats. Okay, so we are back at Hyundai. We're looking to buy another SUV. What's going on, Rob? Yeah. What's going on, Rob? Everything good in the hood? Yeah, everything's cool. All right. You got the wife here? Yes. Hi, how are you? Hope you say. So we're going to be here looking for another car. This is where we got the Elantra from. We're gonna look for another car right here. We're gonna look for an SUV. Chip, um, Chip -A closed today, right? Yes. No, they're open. Yeah, tomorrow they're closed. Oh, so today's yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Rob, that uh, that new yeah, electric yeah. Hyundai over there, is that an Ionic or is that a different name now? Yeah, that's an Ionic 5. Ionic 5, yeah. Oh, that's a model. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, it's the same car, it's just red. Yeah. It's not, it's the same size as yours. It's a, the color makes it look bigger. Black makes things look smaller. Yeah, but the limited didn't add size to it though. It might have changed the wheel size, but it didn't add size. Yeah. SUVs, bro. Let's go look for some SUVs. Let's go let's go look for the SUV. Yeah, so this is the old Ionic. I every time I would come here, I always saw a woman with one of these and she was charging it. So that's the old Ionic, but then again, that's the new one. And I'm pretty sure what I want to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to test drive this car because, you know, I'm always on the lookout for new electric vehicle. Oh my God, this thing barely has anything in it. In fact, I saw that Korean dude. What is his name? Um, I think his name was uh, Korean Petrol Head, and he was driving this thing. 
And this, man, this thing is almost as bare as a Tesla inside, except for the fact that because it's Hyundai, they, they put stuff in there to make sure that they have hard controls, which I do like, because, you know, the Tesla Model Y and the Tesla Model 3, in my opinion, those are cars that are pretty cool for people who want a Tesla but can't afford a Model S or an X. But, um... Oh, it's got the keys. Oh, okay, great. I could just sit right up in there. I think I'm going to test drive this later. Yeah, the keys are in there. Whoa, shit. Ow. I think I hurt my knee. Oh, I hit my knee on the, uh, on the thing, on the, uh, adjuster. But yo, they got the key in here. Yay! Yeah, that's right. I think I want to test drive this later. It's pretty boxy. It's very, very boxy, the inside of this car. Well, let's see. Oh, this is an EV, so that means it's always on. So I could just push start and boom, it's on. Yeah, and then they can't. They don't notice the fact that let me let me close the windows because I don't want these people talking and shit. I don't want to hear these motherfuckers. So, yeah. See, that's what I like about electric cars. You can be inside a garage and you can start these things and they don't kill you simply because they don't create uh what is it carbon monoxide. So this is the Ionic Five S All Wheel Drive, right? And I really see, and this is this is the thing that I liked about the Volkswagen ID4. The thing about it is these cars, these cars, it's like the Tesla Model 3 and Y, they don't give you anything. In one of these cars, the, the smartest thing that these car makers can do is they can say, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it look like a regular car inside so this way people don't get confused and shit. Having like just a screen here, that's fucking stupid. It makes more sense to have your screen here and have your regular uh, your regular uh, odometer, speedometer, gauge cluster. That, that makes so much more sense. So basically, what does this come with? This comes with, uh, everything's basically included. See, another thing about electric cars, and this is the reason why you have all of these losers. Oh, I don't want an electric car. Electric cars are killing the car soul. They're, they're killing the car industry. They're, they're making it so the car culture is gonna die. The reason, let me just say it like this, because you know when I say stuff, I say it as truthfully as I can say it. The reason why these people hate electric cars is for the same reason these people hate Apple phones. It's because there's nothing for them to brag about. When people go out and buy a Model 3 or they buy a Model Y, short of them buying a performance or non-performance, there's really nothing to brag about. When they buy one of these cars, you can't modify it. You can't make it loud and shit like one of those shitty Volkswagens with those shit fart can uh, mufflers. You can't do anything to it. It's an appliance. That's why they hate these cars so much. And the thing about it is once you get past the fact that they hate these cars because they're appliances, then now you start to really talk about, well, why am I buying this car? It's because it's practical. I can take this car home, plug it into my house, charge this car, and guess what? Now I don't have to worry about gas because gas is what, 390 or something a gallon? And that's, that's what it comes down to. These people don't like electric vehicles and they're scared of the future of electric vehicles because now they won't, they don't have girlfriends, most of them. A lot of these guys are incels. They have nothing to do except show up to all these fucking car meets where they're taking hundreds and thousands of photos of the same fucking cars every single week. I got so bored with that. And that's the sad thing about it. I, got, I really got bored with that whole idea. You know, after a while, it's boring. And, and you notice it happening right now to these YouTube channels. You, you notice what's happening. These guys have nothing to talk about. SRT has abandoned them. And I'm glad SRT gave up on them. I'm really glad SRT said, you know what? This whole thing about all these monstrous engines, it's dead. It's just dead. I'm glad that happened because it was time for it. It was time. It was like, how long can they keep on making all these supercars and, and these things are affordable and you got these motherfuckers stealing them, robbing you at gunpoint just so that they can drive a car they'd never even be allowed to drive. Because when these dudes, you know these dudes go window shopping to a Dodge dealership and uh, you know what they're trying to do. They're trying to get a test drive on cars because they have shit credit, they can't afford them. So the only logical thing to do is try to steal one. So these people be trying to steal these cars 
and they'll rob you at gunpoint to steal them. And since we live in a bullshit country with shit laws, they don't execute car thieves. They let these people run amok and do whatever they want. Although in most other countries, if you get caught stealing somebody's car or shooting somebody and taking a, a Hellcat, you'd be executed. But not in this country. Not in this country. In this country, anything goes. So the bottom line is, I rant because I have to get my point across, whether you like it or not. So I don't really care. But what I'm saying is, it had to end. This whole car culture thing. I want you, even when you get past the car theft that we've been plagued by for the last three years, uh, since the Hellcats and the Demons. Even if you get past the car theft, you go to these car meets and then you always have some asshole with a Mustang who's trying to show off. And he ends up hitting a crowd of people and he runs these people down because uh, his he lost control of the car because the car is too powerful and he's just a little girly boy. So the thing about it is it's like this had to end sooner or later. So now car meets are going to be nice and quiet. Now the only cars that you're going to hear all that, that noise coming out of are most likely going to be classic cars and they're actually going to be worth hearing the noise. But no, no, no. In the future, things are going to be more efficient. It's going to be quieter. It's going to be peaceful. And that's what we're missing. We're missing peace and quiet. That's what we're missing. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. And they're like, oh, well, you bought a Jeep. You bought a Hellcat. How could you say that? It's like, listen, guys, at a certain point, at a certain point, you know, flashing your dick on the internet pretty much gets old you know it, at a certain point it gets old it really does this is nice i gotta say this is actually pretty freaking nice and and it's funny because tesla they don't give you any of this they give you just that screen and that's it and now they got a self-driving system and that motherfucker runs stop signs so you can't even trust it not to run the goddamn stop sign look at that it even has wow that is free that is pretty cool okay so you push and hold yeah, and you know what? One thing I like about Hyundai and Kia is no matter what car they make, what they do is they just keep using the same parts from the old cars. So what they do is they make some decent looking parts and then they just keep reusing those parts. And that that keeps cost down. That keeps the research and development cost down because once they figure out what works, they keep it. And once they figure out what doesn't work, they just get rid of it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the new Model S played and the new Model X played and probably the Tesla Model 3 and Y will have these capacitive touch style buttons, right? So when you touch this, the whole pad moves. Smart cruise control. Oh, shit. Yo, this is nice, man. So this thing can do adaptive cruise control and it can do lane departure so it can stay within the lane, adaptive cruise control. So if you're coasting, you can just let this bastard coast. That's what I like. I, I want to be able to get in the car and I can use my phone or whatever and I can just let the car do its do it. It's like Johnny Cab. It's like Johnny Cab from Total Recall. But that's that's what we're coming down to. And all of these kids are mad that because by the time they grow up, by the time they can be able to afford a car, V8s are dead. V8s are dead. Even the Germans gave up on V8s. You look at these new Mercedes, all you get, the, the top end trim is a V8 with twin turbos that makes 650 horsepower. Dodge outdid themselves. They said, no, fuck that. We're going to put a supercharger on a big ass truck sized engine, a 6.4 liter. And we're going to put that in a regular big car and we're going to make a monster now that was cool for a while but once you see the carjackings and the car accidents because the car accidents when you're dealing with dodge hellcats and you're dealing with these 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 v8s the 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 accidents are epic like when you, when a car hits something it just doesn't hit the car it destroys everything it destroys itself and everything around it you know so no 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 we are evolving we're evolving and, and the, the evolution, the evolution of these cars says that we have to evolve to electric. So my next car, I'm not buying another gas car. I'm not doing it. I, I know you see all these other YouTubers who, who right now they have SRT channels. They can barely get views. They, they may have a lot of subs, but they can barely get views because after a while it gets boring. So the thing about it is those, those channels are going to fade into obscurity. No matter what happens to my channel, I could care less. I'm getting an electric car. Now, I haven't decided what... I'm waiting to see what Dodge Chrysler is going to make. 
and I'm pretty sure they're going to do a pretty good job making an electric car. But uh, I want an electric car. That's what I want. And I'm waiting for the Dodge EV to come out. So you know, you got the USB ports. I'm waiting for the Dodge EV to come out so I can see what they're offering. But my next car is going to be electric. It's definitely going to be bigger than this, but it's going to be electric no matter what it is. So there's really not a lot to talk about in here because, as I said, there's really nothing to brag about in this car. It's, it's an electric car. It's practical. It's for people who have a house. See, and that's another thing. When you buy an electric car, an electric car is kind of exclusive because the problem with mo the reason why most people can't buy an electric car is they got nowhere to charge it. If you've got a house or if you've got two houses like I do and you can put a charger in both your garages, you don't need to buy gas anymore. And, and that's just how it works. You know, and that, that's what I'm talking about. There's an exclusivity to an electric car. Rich people right now, a lot of them are buying electric cars. They, they're getting that Mercedes EQS. They're waiting for the BMW iX. You know, they're getting these electric cars. If they can, um, if they can get them, they're getting them, you know, and, um, that's just what it is. It, this, this car is very, very simple, but in being so simple, it's actually very sophisticated. So you got, um, what, what what did they say the range was? Because that's the one thing about Hyundai and Kia that I've noticed. Because as you know, I did a video where I drove the Nero. The one thing I've noticed is when it comes to when it comes to putting stuff here about the electric systems. That's the one thing I, I've noticed that they. It seems like like Mercedes, for example, they have an EQ button. And the EQ button takes you to the electric options. So any of their EQ cars, the electric cars, are going to have an EQ button. This car, when I look here, now maybe I'm missing something, but when I look here, I don't see one button that says, okay, all of our electric uh, functions and everything is here. Just push this button. I don't see that. Now, I'm sure maybe it is here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's here. I just don't see it. And with Mercedes, they have the EQ button. And with some other cars, they have a very specific button that takes you directly to the electric features. And I see drive mode, eco, normal, and sport. And it says drive mode. Is this thing all-wheel drive? I think because that was another thing. Most of their cars are front-wheel drive. This is all-wheel drive, yes. And that was the problem that I had with the uh, Kona EV. The Kona EV had only front-wheel drive. This is all-wheel drive. So I'm going to drive this car a little bit later and, and drive it and see how it feels and everything. But thus far, I like everything about the car. This would be a really great daily driver economy car. But the only things, that, the only things I don't like is unlike the Kia Nero EV, I don't see heated and cooled seats right here. I just don't see them. Now, as far as this climate system, let's see what climate says. Okay, because I don't see driver driver only air conditioner. That's a feature to save energy, to make it so the air conditioner just goes to the driver. What I don't see is I don't see heating and cooling for the seats. I don't see it. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe it's here. And if it is here, I want to find it. But let's see, it says America's best warranty, safety tech, powertrain, exterior, comfort and convenience. So it says heated front seats right there. It says heated front seats, eight-way power. So we don't have cooled seats like we did in that Tucson over there, but we do have heated seats. Now, my question is, how the fuck do you turn them on? So I don't see the button for the heated seats. I just don't see it. But my guess is it should be somewhere. If they have it for the driver and the passenger, it should be something that's easy to spot. But I don't see it. Why don't I see it? Okay, so climate. All right. When you push climate, heat. No, no, no. That's not heat. That's the air conditioner. I don't see heated and cooled seats here. I see front warmer. So they have a front. Oh, there it is. So that's kind of weird. They don't have regular buttons for heated and cooled seats, but you got to push warmer 
and then it appears that you got to push this to activate the heated seats. The Kia Nero EV had heated and cooled seats. If I'm not mistaken, the Hyundai, um, did Hyundai, Hyundai had another electric car that I know I drove. It wasn't the Ionic, it was the Kona. The Kona was option a bull with heated and cooled seats. Why? This is your Hyundai. This is your high tech brand new 22 Ionic. Why don't you have heated? And I can feel it getting hot right now. And one thing I do like is I could see by this material, this is like recycled material. So they're trying to make these things green. But my thing is Hyundai, two things, two, two complaints. There's no button to, like right here. Imagine if you put it right here, like two buttons right here. Heated, cooled seats for the driver. Heated, cooled seats for the passenger. Why not? Why don't they have, do, do I have to take you back to the, uh, I'm going to turn this off. Do I have to take you back to the uh, the uh, Tucson to show you what I'm talking about? Let me, I guess when you push stop. See, one of the other things about EVs is EVs never really turn off. So it's like when you push stop, it's like usually if maybe if you get out of the car, it'll turn off. But I just showed you that Tucson over there. Why aren't there heated and cooled seats in this car? This should be heated and cooled. This is your high tech car. If you're going to show off your high tech car, you got to load this motherfucker. And it's funny because every single other feature is included. Everything's included. Everything. The only thing they charged extra for here was the paint and the car mats. Heat and cooled seats, baby. I need those heat and cooled seats. Let me tell you something. While I was in that uh, Tucson over there that I just showed you, I turned on those cooled seats. My ass got cold. I mean, it was cold. Why, why can't I have that in all of my electric cars? What's going on? The Kona EV has heat and cooled seats. The Kia Nero EV has the heat and cooled seats. Why can't I get it in this... Ionic five, huh? You got you got to you got to swing at the competition. See, it's not when you when you when you when you go up against the competition. First of all, Tesla doesn't give you heated cooled seats. They don't give you shit. They they don't give you half of what you got in this car. If you're gonna go up against the competition, let's see the Trump finger came out. If you're gonna go up against the competition, you can't just fight the competition. You have to destroy the competition. You have to beat them to the point where they never rise again. So who's your competition? Your competition is Tesla. Your competition is uh, Ford. Your competition is GM. If you're going to fight somebody, you have to fight willing to kill. You cannot fight and say, okay, well, that was a good fight. Let me help you up off the ground and dust you up. No, fuck that. You killed them. They don't ever, they don't ever rise again. The, it's Shaka Zulu taught that. He's like, listen, we'll fight you today, but you're never going to ever fight again. We're going to destroy you. And that's how you have to fight your competition. And what does that mean for the consumer? It means you get a better product. This is simple Darwinism. The consumer gets a superior product every time. And once these car companies get that in their mind, that is when car sales are going to take off like they never took off before. We're going to have superior technology. We're going to have superior comfort and quality. Superior convenience we're gonna make a master race of cars that's what we're gonna do a mass the car electric car master race and if you don't understand that then you don't understand what darwinism actually means okay so i got these uh lock it Ooh, you see that's pretty freaking cool I gotta make sure that I don't get any of this goddamn music in my video because this music will mess me up. Hmm. Did it? Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can get, you can go right in it. The, the, um, it's open. Nah, man, this in black or this in silver, this shit would be, this would be tight. They they lock too. Like the look, get in, get in. They, they 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 wait. You see over there? Look, there's a the key is in the side where your Yo, where your hand was. So room? Yeah. Damn! Look at this room. Close the door. This is roomy. Yeah. Close it. Well. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is roomy. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, put your foot on the uh, brake and then turn it on. Push the button. It's, this is not, not gas. Oh. It's not gas. So when it's on, it's always on. The car is always on. Oh, so ready to drive. Yeah. So I was testing out the heated seat and everything. So you see how roomy this shit is? Yes. Like, like even me. Like right. Oh my God! This is a big car, man. Yeah. The battery is ninety five percent. So charged. that means you can drive. It says you can drive two hundred and seventy two miles before you have to start charging it again. And that's nothing though. That yeah. means you have to charge real fast. So if you're only driving like sixty miles a day or something like that. You could just charge it right at your house, and you just plug it right into the house. Into you your house. Have the seat. Just what? Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I'm pretty sure they make one of these with a moonroof. But uh, yeah, it, these things are pretty freaking cool. And you see how all the buttons are. So basically, this car, like, what if you. Well, the radio is, uh, yeah. you have to turn media and then you set a channel. You're on FM radio, so you got to set a channel. It probably has a uh, voice control too, you know? Yeah, I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. When you lock the car, the handles go right back into the door. When you, when you uh, push lock on the side of the car. Oh, the handles go in the car. Yeah, the, the handles close. Oh. Yeah. Cause the, the key is right next to you where your arm is. And so you if you get out, like, yeah, go get out and then stand next to the car and then push the lock button and you'll see the door is locked and then you can put the key back inside. Oh. Try it, try it, try it. Wait, stand up. Yeah, because we're about to get out because they, they want to get us. But the key is right there. You see the key? Where? It's it's where where your handle is on the door. Yeah. Look Look in that corner and you'll see the key in there. Oh, yeah. You see it? Yeah. Try locking the car from the outside and you'll see the, the lock close. You'll see it. You'll see the door handles close. It's amazing having to teach people about technology. Yeah, right? I'm getting up. Teaching people about technology is something else, isn't it? Oh, shit. Yeah, well, one thing's for certain. If I, unless I'm a single mom, I wouldn't be buying one of these for me. Oh. Huh? Like a Tesla. That, that's what they're going for. They're trying to make it like a Tesla Model Y. Yeah, well, I wouldn't because the reason why is these rims are designed for high efficiency, so it gives you more range. If you put heavy rims on there, you get less range. Oh, oh, oh. So we're deciding right now between the Tucson and the Kona. We're going to take another look at the Kona because Konas are available with all the drive. Just like, if I'm not mistaken, that is one right there. Konas are available in all-wheel drive, as this one, as you can see, is available with all-wheel drive. So, just going to take a second look because the thing about it is a lot of these women seem to want these very, very large cars. But if you're not carrying a lot of stuff, then the question is, why do you need such a gigantic car and pay so much more money? But we'll see. But see, as I was saying, as far as I'm concerned, Hyundai would do best to make sure all of their cars are super equipped. When we're talking about heated and cooled seats, that's what I'm talking about. Even if every electric car had a simple gauge cluster where you could see that you got all your main features that you have options and you can see it right away and it's easy to get to, that just makes so much more sense. But a lot of them, they don't understand that. Tesla damn sure doesn't understand it. It's like Tesla is willing to sell you like basically nothing and make you pay top dollar for it. So yeah, we're gonna look at this Kona. Chances are she should drive the Kona and she should drive the Tucson. I think she should decide between these two. You know? Because my thing is, unless you really need a lot of space, unless you need a lot of space, it doesn't make sense to spend so much for the, for the uh, Tucson. And I like the Tucson. That's a good looking car, though. Yeah, that's a good looking. Uh, these Tucsons, are, they look good. They look good. I mean, they're economy cars, but they look great, you know? Yeah, it's like if I was a single mom or something, 
this is kind of what I'd be buying. But fortunately for me, I'm not a single mom, and I never will be. <laughs> Man, that thing, that one looks tiny. Yeah, so this, this is obviously the last generation interior design. The bottom line is, if it comes with all-wheel drive and it has enough features, who cares? As long as you get all the features you want. Get the heated seats right there. Auto uh, start stop for the engine, deactivate, defeat, I should say. And this is an inline, and it's got the stitching and everything to make it look sporty. But meanwhile, if somebody's driving around with an SRT, they're going to blow past you like a goddamn hurricane. And you know who's going to do it? It's going to be me with a big-ass Jeep SRT just fly past you at like 99 miles an hour. And you're going to be like, why is that asshole driving so goddamn fast? And you, even if you try to catch up, there's no possible way you can. And that's the way I want to keep things. That's the way I want to keep things. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Automatic start. Auto start. Automatic. Get in the driver's side. Yeah, you're the driver. Yeah, pull your chair. Automatic start. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this. Oh, yeah. I'm six is. foot six. Oh, it's not small. Look, so, you got to still got twenty six thousand five sixty. This car is twenty. This car is twenty seven thousand, give or take. Twenty seven thousand. Yeah. Not bad at all. So, yeah. Okay. So you get that uh, that screen for your phone. So you get the nav system to your phone. The automatic start. I think start. you probably got heated seats. Of, you probably got heated seats here push button or at least you should proximity key with push button start all-wheel drive oh yeah they're looking at the two storm yeah we can just uh, make a left and then get on 110 and scoot on up Left. You're gonna make a left because there's nothing down there except BJ's. Turn to make a left. A left and a left. Yes, a left and a left. But I'm gonna be stuck in the street. No, you won't. Just get it. you'll be you'll be okay because this is not too busy. Just get. Yeah, he's letting us in. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. He's probably looking at us like, yeah. Turn that down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Yeah, because I want her to hear the car. Because if you got the noise up, you can't hear the roll, the the noise and everything. You can tear this up. That's my seat guy. You can tear this one up. I can what? Tear this one up, man. What do you mean tear it up? Like you tell me. All right. Yeah, so just drive like normal. I don't know how you normally drive. Just drive like normal. This car is bigger than the, I don't know what. In the back. It's crazy. That's, if he could fit back there, believe me. Hey, can you just relax? I'm so excited. How do you get two keys? They always give you two. You're supposed to get two. Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, do the work. Straight one more day. 
This car also has an auto engine stop that you can turn off just oh. in case you're trying to save fuel or something. Oh yeah, when you get at the light. So light. there's that little button that's marked A next to the gear shift. If you want to turn off that feature, you can just push oh, it and it turns off. see if mom's got that. And they yeah. got, look, all-wheel drive. Yeah, that's what, this one is all-wheel drive. Yes, this is it. And it's a pretty color. I like it, right? It's nice. Touch screen radio. Yeah. Look, touch screen radio. We got mad room back here. And if you're about to hit somebody, this thing beeps at you to let you know you're about to hit somebody. Yeah, Forward collision assist. Yeah, this is it. No more to talk about. Yeah, there's an adjustment for that to rise you up. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, that's all right. Oh, no. The front. Yeah. There it is. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm to listen to them. Push the menu button. I just want to see what uh, stuff that's oh, in there. Oh, uh, okay, real nice. Uh, Bluetooth, phone thing. Yeah. And what's this car again? This is a uh, Kona SEL all wheel drive. All wheel drive. You wanted an all wheel drive. Yep. You got an all wheel drive. See you when you get Floor it. Yeah. She says she has. <laughs> press it. I think she is actually. I don't oh, she ain't. She was pressing it. So do it now to the light. Kind of engine. Uh, three zero point this a gallon. What's thirty? Which is thirty? Oh, 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 this is thirty miles to a gallon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is like, like I'm talking about how fast do it? Like Ooh. they say, like um, when, when you press it. Two um, breaks. <laughs> Not 32 a gallon, but um, the RP. What? The RP, I rev, high rev before I get to. You're not high revving an all-wheel drive economy car. It, it, they don't, they don't do that. But can't you take it out of all-wheel drive? Um, yeah. this might be permanent all-wheel drive, but I don't, I don't think so. And if it does go out of it, it probably only does it for front wheel when it needs to. You see how it says oh, no, drive no, mode? Two, no, when you press this down, it's all-wheel drive. Right now, it's in two-wheel. There you go. Okay. When you press that down, it's four-wheel. Let's see how I ride in four-wheel. All four. No, oh. she was already at all four. Oh, this is all four now. Yeah, most of these cars default to all-wheel drive. Word? Yeah, most of them do. So don't mess with it too much? Yeah, it's like only if you absolutely need to. Sometimes you need the to Without cut off two wheels. Or something like that. Exactly. See, the reason why they do that is so you save more fuel because if you don't need That's snow and ice, snow, ice, ice water, you, know, you don't need it. I guess I'll wait till she stops and take it out of the wheel Yeah, this is all right. Better than what you have. It's the next, it get in the right lane. <laughs> and it's still like a SUV. Right, John? Yeah. I like it. It's a lady's car. Oh, that's my car that was shining. No, that's a shining. I think they rinsed it off. Cool. 
I like this service center. Yeah, I like everything. Yeah, see, no, those, the one are, we those went are those to, two electric ones. No, when we went to the one last night, they had la a latte and oh my god, they think oh that's a I'm nice. Put it right back. You Was it right there? Stop right here. Put it back here. I was going to park it right here, like the way I got it from. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Part you can back okay. up into the space. Yeah, back into the space. Just just leave space between you and this next car, uh, that electric car behind you. Okay. Yeah, just leave space, cause they can always move it if they need to. Yeah, you're good. You're good. All right. All right. Take the keys with you. Take your keys. Oh, you got child locks back yep. home. Oh, 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 there we go. No, I got it. I got it. It's red. It's red. I like it. I like how it looks. Yeah. I didn't even get one of them. A first aid kit. Okay, well, yeah. Yes, this is it. I'm going to drive one of these Ionic fires. drive that Ionic 5. I'm going to do that later. Make a video for it. Everybody, everybody, see the sad thing is I'm watching all these people having to buy all these fucking economy cars and the best thing they have to do is this, uh, what is this called? This uh, MDX. Everybody's trying to get this MDX and, they, and because it's got the third row, you know? I, I know Acura has probably had a better year this year than like ever before. But, uh, yeah, there's like she there's the saleswoman from last time right there. Yeah, I see, I, yo, I see that. Yo, I was riding yesterday with two police officers walking. She went like one, one, like this. Boom, boom, boom! His feet were like this on his, on his ass. On oh, his man. We've already lost enough police officers yo, this month. Yo, he stayed here for, and his partner was standing there. We don't want to lose any of the ice, do we? And his partner was standing there laughing at him. That's messed up. Then blew all of ice. So I'm going to come back after I refill my gas tank, and I'm going to drive the Ionic 5. So this one, they pulled out for somebody right now who's on the floor looking at the Ionic 5. I'm going to come back and try one. In fact, here they are now. Does the Ionic 5, because I'm going to come back and try it, but does it offer a moonroof? The limited. The limited has it, okay. A moonroof, yeah. Oh, so you can't open. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be back later. And it's funny because this thing has such a very, very plain design and has a very plain shape, except for the, the front lights and the rear lights. But, um, yeah, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice, simple, plain design. Because I was just telling somebody on uh, my Facebook Messenger, I was like, right now, the only cars I'm really interested in are electric cars. And he was telling me, oh yeah, well you should drive the Genesis truck. It's like, oh, I don't really care so much about the, I, I will say this, when they get the GV60 electric in, I'll drive that. But the GV70, GV80, I don't really care to talk about that right now because I'm, I'm not even looking at these gas cars no more. It's like right now I'm only, look at that. That's pretty freaking cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go drive one myself. To be continued.